Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is actually a sequel of another tutorial I made previously titled From 3D Code to Octane Render. When I made this uh, first tutorial, I used 3D Code version 4.5 and I, and I uh, saw uh, afterwards that version 4.7 was uh, out and that it incorporated uh, workflows to export the texture maps and models from a to obtain render. So uh, let us try this new workflow and see if it gives good results. I have my favorite model uh, from 3D Code here, the little robot. I painted a base layer with a metal material and then another layer with a paint uh, with the little holes everywhere. And then a third layer with a very reflexive material here. We will then export this file with the default Octane uh, workflow and see what it gives. I have modified the workflow. Uh, I'm using PNG maps instead of TFGA maps. This is because I want to preview, to be able to preview the maps before applying them. Let us see what it gives by exporting the maps and model. The uh, diffuse map has been renamed to Albedo and the um, specular map is now metallic. Let us import the uh, model in uh, Poser. I use Poser for uh, uh, octane render in Poser, but it should be the same with other octane render plugins or with a the uh, base octane render, the standalone version. So let us open the viewport and see how it looks like. When importing in Poser, only the uh, base color map is imported, so this is what we see here, only the color map. We will add the specular map using the provided metalness map here. And immediately we can see that there is an issue here because the, the uh, map is uh, very, very bright. We will see if the roughness map can solve this problem. It does uh, get, get better, but uh, you can see that there are still uh, places where the map is very, very re reflexive, and it does not look at all like the uh, the um, metal we have in 3D Coat, which is far less reflexive. The third map we will use is the normal map. This one looks okay. So now we need to solve this problem with the um, specular map, which is not obviously the um, metal uh, nest map. So let us see what options we have to, in order to export it correctly. I will. Uh, I have defined another uh, export procedure, another workflow. Like the previous one, I used the glass metalness. Uh, the normal map is unchanged. The albedo map uses the texture, but no alpha map. The metalness is now the specular color with the, the metalness as an alpha. The roughness is, has been modified to glassness as it was in, the, in my previous workflow. And there, are, there is no alpha map in this version. Let us export. I have not changed the names of the maps, so we will be able to reload it in Octane Render and see directly the results. The maps have been generated. Let's, let us reload all the texture maps at once. Here is the result with this workflow. 
obviously it looks better but we have one issue with the uh, roughness map as we use the gloss glossiness it, it we need to invert it because glossiness is the exact inverse of roughness now it looks better with the highlights uh, which are more diffuse and looking less less like plastic this workflow seems to work but I have made a, a series of additional images in order to uh, to make sure it would uh, it would work here they are here we are we have a version with a copper material copper and rubber here is another version with uh, brass for the metal and uh, blue plastic in uh, with every of these maps the um, the uh, metal looks quite metallic and the uh, plastic and uh, and rubbery uh, materials look okay so I think this uh, this workflow works better than the one provided uh, and it should be uh, it should be usable for many material many metal materials if you have another workflow that that is uh, okay please add a comment to this video otherwise I hope it has been useful and uh, that I will see you in the next tutorial